Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Regarding Islamic dietary laws, uh, there are a number of misconceptions which prevail in our society. And one such misconception which we're going to discuss today is the notion that many people believe that since alcohol, of course, is prohibited, and uh, however, if we consume it in a small amount, and that small amount is such that it does not cause any intoxication, then people think that in such small quantities, there is nothing wrong in consuming alcohol. Since the basic reason for the prohibition of alcohol is inebriation and intoxication, and since a small amount of consumption of alcohol does not lead to this intoxication, so therefore there is no problem if, if one takes alcohol in, in small amounts. Now this is a grave misconception indeed, and it has to be understood that Islam uh, prohibits things uh, at times at a very early level, at a very preliminary level, so that this prohibition uh, is instrumental in stopping a person uh, from going into a greater evil uh, from a very, very earlier boundary. And uh, for this very reason, the Prophet is reported to, reported to have said, Ma askara kathiruhu fa haram, regarding alcohol, which means that anything which inebriates uh, or intoxicates uh, in, in large quantities, the consumption of such a, an event, such a thing in small quantities is also prohibited. Uh, this is because, as I said, Islam wants uh, a person to be very, very precautionary in, in all such habits. It does not want a person to go very near something, to go very near an evil, and then uh, when there is no chance of his coming back, uh, he has, is has, he's left with no other option. So in order to uh, warn a person, in order to uh, sort of uh, keeping him in the right perspective, it prohibits certain things which even lead to uh, certain other grave things. And this is, which is uh, what is called in Islam as sadh zariya which means that all means and all sources which lead to a greater evil, even those means and sources uh, are, are disallowed. And uh, there are a number of examples which can, we can find in, in, in Islam as well. And uh, one such example, as we know in the Quran, is the Quran explicitly says, La taqra was zina, which means that do not go near fornication or adultery. It does not say do not com commit adultery in this instance. It says do not even go near fornication or adultery, which means that all things which may lead a person to adultery or fornication, they must be avoided as well. So on similar basis, uh, although a small amount of alcohol might not intoxicate a person, however, since there is a chance that a person can get involved in more intoxication, he can of course, be induced to drink more. So therefore, this prohibition uh, is made at a very earlier level. Hence, it is absolutely clear that uh, everything uh, which inebriates or into intoxicates, it's, it is prohibited even in small quantities. For as I said, this is because Islam wants a person to be very careful. It wants its followers to be very, very careful. So as a precautionary measure, and as a, I must also clarify that this precautionary measure is not a, is not a mere recommendation. It's not just a precautionary measure in which it has, it has suggested that people should uh, stay away from. It has actually made this precautionary measure a binding thing. So it is absolutely binding that must, one must not consume alcohol, even in small quantities, because, as I said, the, the wisdom behind it and the wisdom which has been aptly explained by the Prophet is that a person can simply uh, go beyond what is uh, required uh, if, the, if something is allowed to him or her in small quantities or in quantities which might absolutely be not uh, evil or uh, something which can, cannot cause uh, evil effects on him. So we can sum up and say that uh, prohibiting alcohol in small amounts is because these uh, consumption of small amount of alcohol can can lead a person to greater consumption. And in order to stop a person, in order to make him very careful in this regard, this particular prohibition has been imposed uh, on a person in its absolute sense. Akulukali Haza wa Staqfirullah Ali wa Lakum wa Lisar al Muslimina wal Muslimat.